Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Brad's Cajun Cooking. Hey, today we're doing a catfish coubillon. If you remember last week, last episode, I did a sauce picon that was in a tomato gravy. Now we're doing a coubillon. It's going to be more of a white gravy, um, but I'm excited to, to cook it. That's two good catfish dinners in a row. Hey, look, this is some of that same fish, that eight pound catfish we still eating on. These, you remember how I cut it? If you, if you didn't see the video, uh, it'll show you how I cleaned that catfish right there. But look how beautiful those fillets are. <clears throat> All right, let's season this up. Let's get some onions browning. And let's throw it down. All right, what, what I got right here, I got some, uh, I got some banana peppers, I got some onions, I got some bell peppers. We're just gonna cut that up. Yes, sir. All right, hey, look. I'm not using olive oil this time. I got some vegetable oil. We'll start off with a little vegetable oil. Yeah. Probably about a third of a cup. Alright, we got our onions and bell peppers and, and banana and look if you don't have banana peppers, don't worry about it. I look. Uh old boy I work with, old Danny Roy hooked me up with some banana peppers. So I had them, I used them. So uh it's no big deal if you don't have them. Alright, now I'm gonna put a tablespoon of flour. I'm gonna thicken it up just a little bit. Let that saute for a little while longer. All right, after about five minutes of putting the flour, y'all got me some shrimp stock right here. Um, if you hadn't seen episode 30, uh, the shrimp and crab stew, I make this homemade shrimp stock. Y'all, this is not a big recipe because I only had uh, about two pounds of fish left. So it's just enough for me. My, my wife don't eat it, but my, my mom and daddy do, Myrna and Terry. So I'm a, it's just gonna be the three of us. The kids are not here, so. It'll be just enough. But oh, we can't forget this. The Worcestershire, a tablespoon. No hot sauce. We're gonna let this cook down a little bit, and we will be ready to put our fish in. Okay, I wanted to show y'all. <clears throat> look, look how it cooked down. After I add, added that shrimp stock, look how pretty that is. And look, if if you don't have you know, if you don't have that shrimp stock, you can use most stores. You can get a seafood uh, stock, or you can use chicken stock. My mom uses chicken stock a lot, but I'm gonna add. See, it's kind of it's kind of cooking down. I'm add a little water. Let it let it cook down again. But look, I didn't add anything but what you saw so far. I browned the onions with with vegetable oil. Added my seafood stock, and that's the color I came out with. Now wait till I put that fish in there. Oh. Ready to put our fish in. Let's do it. Oh. 
All right, I'm gonna cover it. And remember what we're gonna do, we're just gonna shake it like this. For about the next 15 minutes, that's it. Let's check it. You check it with a knife or a fork. Stick it right there. Oh, you see how it's, it don't want to turn? It's a little, still a little tough. Let it go a little longer. All right, I went another couple of more minutes. Let's check it and see it now. Oh, you saw I broke off. Oh, she ready. You know what's next? Them green onions. Bam. Oh, Lord. Cool, she ready to plate up. Okay, we're ready to plate this thing up. Y'all look at this. So, that's some green peas you can see. This right here, that's not it looks like potato salad, but that's a salad de pomme de terre, which is potato salad in French. You learn something new every day. Let's take a bite of this. I'll be dead. I don't have a fork again, but that's okay. I got a big spoon right here. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Yowza! I can get it out. Yowza! Y'all, that's awesome. Hey, look. That might not be a cubion to you, but that's a cubion to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you, don't, if you don't have shrimp stock, I've cooked plenty of these without shrimp stock. The only reason why I use the shrimp stock is because I had it. But you could add a little water. Your fish is going to make its own gravy. Uh, like I said, you could do the, shrimp, uh, the seafood stock at the store or the chicken stock. But hey, don't think you can't make this just because you don't have the shrimp stock. This is marvelous. Thank y'all so much for watching. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.